friends welcome back to ng academy today our agenda is to solve numerical problems there are altogether five numerical problems from power of lens number one calculate the power of a lens having focal length 10 centimeter also write down the types of the lens now let's write solution here first solution now calculate the power of lens we have to calculate the power of lens now what is given here focal length 10 centimeter our focal length is f equals 10 centimeter now we have to convert it into si unit see here this is cgs unit centimeter so let's convert so how we convert how to convert centimeter into meter divide by 100 now it is changed into meter okay now what is the value 10 divided by 100 0 0.1 meter now what is asked here power of lens right here power of lens power of lens p equals question mark we know p equals 1 by f focal length this is the key formula now let's substitute the value of focal length here or p equals 1 by 0 0.1 meter now let's take it here or p equals 0 0.1 divided by 1 how much uh, calculate it let's use the calculator on 0 0.1 divide 1 equals sorry 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 1 divide 0 0.1 equals 10 you must be very careful about this when meter goes up what happens it becomes m power minus 1 so what is your m power minus 1 this is d that is diopter 10 m power minus 1 is d this is diopter unit now let's uh, find out the type of the lens also write down the types of the lens so what type of lens used here so type of lens is identified by the focal length see here your focal length is positive that's why your lens should be convex if uh, there was negative sign then it should be uh, concave but here you have positive sign that's why your lens used here is convex the lens is convex okay friends this is our new question that is the power of a spectacle lens is minus 2.5 d calculate the focal length of a lens also name the type of lens here I have already written the information the power of a spectacle lens is minus 2.5 d so focal length f equal to question mark so we have to calculate the focal length now we have the formula p equal to 1 by focal length now let's substitute the value of power here so minus 2.5 d equals 1 by 5 1 by sorry f now if it goes up and it goes down then what happens here is f equals 1 by minus 2.5 d now let's use calculator on 1 divide 2.5 equals 0 0.4 therefore f equals minus 0 0.4 so the unit of focal length is meter always uh, mention the meter okay so which lens is used here the lens used the lens is the lens is concave why concave yes because the focal length is negative friends our next question is number five i will do other number later on okay
this question is quite interesting that's why i took it first so here power p is 2.5 d it is not 25 d it is 2.5 d if a person wants to read a book how far must the book be held from the lens this question is quite tricky so here in this case we have to find the focal length okay if this is your book and this is your lens so how far the book be held from the lens so that the uh, person can read the book quite easily so this distance the distance from lens to this book should be focal length that's why we have to find out here focal length f equal to question mark we know the formula power is equal to 1 upon focal length so let's substitute the value of power here or 2.5 d equals 1 by f now what happens here is or f goes up 2.5 d comes down so f equals 1 by 2.5 d so um, our focal length Let's calculate from calculator. Okay. 1 divide 2.5. 1 divide 2.5 equals 0 0.4. So what should be the unit of focal length? It is meter. So let's write here M. Now let's jump to next question. Friends, this is quite tricky. A concave lens has focal length of 40 cm. Calculate its power. Here focal length f equals 40 cm. See our lens is concave lens. So the focal length should be negative. That's why we have to mention here minus sign here. You have to be very careful while solving the problem when you get the question like this concave lens when there is concave lens then mention negative sign here in the focal length and let's convert this centimeter into meter equals minus 40 divided by 100 now it is turned into meter so um, i think it's 0. Point, minus 0. 0.4 meter now let's substitute the value of uh, focal length over here in your in your formula this is the key formula you need to understand now let's p equals 1 by minus 0 0.4 see 0 minus 0 0.4 okay let's use calculator here 1 1 what is our okay divide 0 0.4 equals 2.5 let's go here p equals minus 2.5 when meter goes goes up it becomes m power minus 1 therefore p equals minus 2.5 m power minus 1 is diopter d see m power minus 1 is your d diopter don't forget this see here there is negative sign means it is concave lens okay friends now see the question question number five i think question number five is is already done let's go to question number friends it's not question number five i think it's question number three that is left calculate the focal length of a lens of power plus 5d name the type of lens too it's so easy okay friends solution you write here solution now focal length focal length is asked here calculate the focal length and the power of the lens given here plus 5 diopter name the uh, types of lens too here now let's use the formula p equal to 1 by f let's substitute the value of power over here this goes up this goes down f equals 1 by plus 5 d don't forget to mention here or okay now 
f equals 1 divided by 5 your value becomes 0 0.2 i guess yes it is meter so your focal length of the lens is 0 0.2 meter now name the type of lens the name of the lens is focal length positive means it is convex lens this is the answer friends we have completed five numerical problems and if you have any kind of confusion please mention in the comment section below let's meet in our next video till then goodbye and take care of yourself